Today we're going to cook with spaghetti squash. And what's fun about spaghetti squash is you shred it up and it looks just like spaghetti. It's super healthy, it's very delicious, but it's a fun way, even if you love pasta, to have a gluten-free, really healthy pasta night. What we have to do is have the squash. We want to help it steam, right? We want to trap the heat with it cut side down to get the steam to stay in there and to do its job and cook the squash, okay? And it can just lay flat like that and the steam yes. get in there? Yes, now some people cut it lengthwise, mm -hmm. but a spaghetti squash, if you want longer pieces of the squash that look like spaghetti, you should actually cut it across because that's the way the squash grows. So when you go to scrape this with a fork later, you'll see when it's done, if you just keep turning it like this, you'll get longer pieces if you cut it across as opposed to horizontal. Um, and I like to just sort of start it and just gently turn it. Then all you're gonna take out are the seeds, just like when you're uh, seeding a pumpkin at Halloween or something, right? You just take out the seeds, don't scrape too deep because we're gonna roast this up and shred it and it'll turn into the spaghetti. 375, by the way, 40 minutes. 375, 40 minutes. Come on back. Okay, kids. This is the spaghetti squash after it's roast. It's Cut so side down, 375, 35 to 40 minutes. You do not want to take this too far. Just like pasta, you want it to be al dente or still have a bite left to it. You don't want this to be mush. So as I said, the squash grows around. So when you're shredding it into pasta, work your fork around the squash and you'll end up with longer pieces of the fake spaghetti. Over here, I put a little bit of stock and a little bit of water, and I'm just warming it on the stove. Mm -hmm. This is going to replace the starchy cooking water. A lot of us know how to make pesto in the food processor, but people, I think, make a couple of common mistakes. It's too watery because they wash the basil in water and they put the liquid in, or it's too oily. So first of all, the ratio for the cheese is about one ounce of pecorino, or sheep's milk cheese, and about two ounces or three slices of Parmigiano. You pulse it until this looks like the sand on the beach. It's kind of a coarse sand. Then we take the cheese out. I'd say about a third of a cup of untoasted pine nuts. Next, we throw in two fat cloves of garlic. And now we're gonna let this go until the consistency of peanut butter. Now, my mom and I always add lemon juice and lemon zest to ours. So I'm gonna pop that That's down in That's the there. acid. Yeah, we have to have acid. Uh-huh. And now we're gonna talk about the basil. You need about five cups, way more than you think you need. You need a good five cups for one tiny batch and take off any of the flowering tops, those are bitter. So we're gonna put our tiny leaf, and you have to make sure that that's dry because you were saying you don't want to yes. put that watery. If it's very gritty, of course, give it a quick rinse in a big bowl of cold water, but pat it completely dry before you cook with it. Now we're going to turn this back on and pulse, 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 pulse until this is combined and stream in very good olive oil, about a third of a cup, and then season with salt to taste and add our cheese back. So we would use that starchy cooking water from the pasta to marry the sauce to the pasta itself. Very important step. So we're doing a fake out here with a little thinned out vegetable stock. So now we're gonna turn it off and we're gonna stir in our beautiful pesto genovese. Then we're gonna start turning all of that into our pesto. Are we putting all this in there? Sure. Oh wow, look at that. I told you it's enough to feed an army. So you can serve this hot or cold. And this is why we want to cook this just to al dente because see how much time it takes? It takes a minute or two to get the pasta and the sauce combined evenly together. Mm. Wow. 